Hey guys. Okay. My last tutorial, I showed you how to model a basic fantasy sword. Um, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an old kind of ancient sword. Um, you guys are probably like, uh, why are you just doing swords? But um, I actually think it's a good thing to learn how to use Blender on. Um, okay, so I've made this. I'm scaling it now. Um, go on and press three. I'm going a little quick today, so we have extra time. Um, okay, face select. Select this face. Extrude it. Um, make it a little bit more. Okay. Um, size it down. Go into here. Vertices select. Press W. Merge at center. So now we have our blade. Alright, I'm going to press 7, go into top view, uh, add, uh, go to edit mode, add, cube, I'm making our guard now, Make do that, do that. If you guys don't know how to do this, um, just go in my, my other tutorial and uh, check it out trying to get as many tutorials done as I can to fill up my account, but, um, okay. Extrude, carry this up here, extrude, carry this up, right about there, that looks good. Okay, move this a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to select this face, control L, subdivide, add, um, add a mo subsurf modifier, subsurf level 2, extrude, size down, extrude, size down. And actually what I'm going to do for this one today is I'm going to do the same thing I did for the... oh no, okay. Alright, uh, that's all we're going to do for that today. S, Y, I'm going to scale that up. Um, may look a little goofy, but I think it'll do. Alright, I'm going to hit set smooth here go into edit mode, make my handle, cylinder, rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees, carry that right here, SX, size it up on the X, carry it like that, go to my handle, Okay, so we have a basic sword. Looks really goofy, but that's fine. All right. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it uh, look ancient, uh, really old sword. So what you're gonna usually see in that kind of thing is chips on the blade, um, irregularities and that kind of thing. So, okay, so we're going to do the chips on the blade right now. What you're going to want to do is go into edit mode, click that, control L to select your uh, blade. Come down here and go to fractal and press OK. Leave it at this. Press OK. And then fractal again and press OK. And the m more times you do that, it's going to slow down your computer, but um, press 7. Now 
uh, I'm going to set this solid. And you can kind of already see the scratches and stuff on the blade. Okay. Set smooth. Go into edit mode. Go to face select, press A. Press B once. Click and drag to about here. Click noise and then hash. Just keep clicking these. Let's see what I can do. Just experimenting. Okay, that's all we're going to do today for the um, blade. Um, for this, go to fractal. Select this fractal a couple times. And just experiment and start dragging stuff. And of course, the entire point here is to make it not look so good. So you can have an old looking sword. Okay, that looks strange, but that'll have to do. I'm going to subdivide this twice, drag it, extrude region just a little bit, and that looks good. Okay. I'm going to do something to handle now. I'm going to get a face. Just you, have to, you just have to play around. Um, this is a, a tutorial necessarily for, you know, beginners. I understand I'm not explaining things as well as I could, but I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think we're just about done. The handle is looking sort of odd. I'm going to scale it down on the Z axis a little bit. Object mode and yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna mess this up a little bit more. do here is I'm going to select just a little chunk out of here go down press delete faces go to, back to object mode and that part of the sword should be gone we're gonna do the same thing to create just little chunks of the sword gone time here. You can do multiple things if you want. Delete faces. Okay, that's all we're going to do for an old sword today. Alright, thanks guys. You have a good day.